Hello my fellow whale watchers. Is it possible to beat a team consisting of a top player and a champion squad in less than 5 minutes in a 5 vs 6? I would say it's almost impossible, but in this battle our team pulled it off, led by a champion duo, but a lot of things had to come together to do this. Let's have a look how we did it. We start with the Skyros and immediately go for center. At this point I realized that we were playing against the squad, so we need to focus on beacon control, otherwise we will probably lose by bot out. What I didn't know yet is that we are only 5 players in our team, but nonetheless I was dedicated to do my best. So we got center and 3 reds are about to take their home beacon. I decide to tackle that one later and go for counterplay instead. In beacon rush battles, when everybody swarms out to get beacons, it is quite common that the home beacon next to the spawn is left unprotected. Also in this battle this was the case, so we just try to snitch it away from the reds. And it worked. No chance if we go to our home beacon that was taken by the red top players in the meantime, they will just lock it down and keep spawning in there. So we need to find another way to win. So I decide to try to snitch away the other red home beacon as well. Maybe I get lucky and our opponents are unattentive, who knows. Our teammate dies, so at this point there is only a hawk left to defend. Perfect! So first I try to get him out of the beacon circle, bringing down its health a bit, if possible down to last stand. Perfect! And I managed to turn the beacon white too. That's great, because no rats can jump in there now, but nonetheless the hawk will not remain the only defender. A Capri and an Orochi will also join the party. At this point I need to lock down the white beacon and can at least find opponents here. But maybe we can get rid of them, let's see. The weakest opponent of the three is the Orochi, it's quite low on health. Now watch this. Bam! That was the EMP blast of my drone. Good job Whiteout, you got a kill. Next on the list is the Hawk. Remember, it doesn't have last stand anymore, so I shield myself from the Capri with some cover. And there goes the Hawk, double kill. So there is only the Capri left now and we are not strong enough to deal with it ourselves. But look what happens, we turn the beacon blue. This means teammates can jump in here now and that's what I'm hoping for. In the end there is nobody jumping in, but... There comes a shell from center and distracts the Capri, so now look what we can do. Bam! That was once a Capri. Luckily it was not maxed and optimized, so we could defend this beacon. Next we go for another round of counterplay, because our opponents are very aggressive and still focus on our home beacon. The problem with this is that we play beacon rush, so as a result we can take all other beacons. Look at this! So for now I stay in the background and just wait, because we are in a quite good tactical situation. And I don't want to jeopardize this. The reds at this point can jump in at two locations, their spawn and our home beacon. There are plenty of teammates at our home beacon, so I stay at the beacon close to the red spawn, so that we can keep them forecap. And then some of them realize that we have their home beacon, so let's go back where we came from for locking it down. Then a Minos by our team jumps in and helps locking it down. And since I'm almost dead I decide to evaluate my other options. It's really incredible, but our team somehow managed to get our home beacon back with 6 reds around. But 3 of them are left and eager to take it back, so I spawn my titan there. That does not only allow our team to potentially hold this beacon, but also gives me a few more honor points for the battle stats. And just like this the battle is over, after not even 4 and a half minutes, incredible. Losing like this should not happen to such experienced players. They were simply too aggressive and thought that they can overrun our spawn, but we held them back and could take all their other beacons. Thanks to great teammates, good beacon tactics and a bit of luck being in the right spot at the right time. Thanks for watching this episode of Rush Hour and see you on my channel.